Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Sing to the mountains, sing to the sea. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today the Church celebrates the holiness of St. Teresa Benedicta of the Cross, a virgin and a martyr. That was her religious name, but her real name was Edith Stein or Edith Stein. She was a Jew. And uh, because of that, she was uh, brought to con concentration camp during the time of Hitler in Germany. And she died a martyr. Let us ask the intercession of Teresa that we too may be courageous, especially during times of persecution, that we may have the courage to proclaim Jesus no matter what the price. To prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration, let us humbly ask God's pardon and mercy for our sins. Lord Jesus, you raised the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light and hope to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. God, our, God of our fathers, who brought the martyr Saint Teresa Benedicta of the Cross to know your crucified Son and to imitate him even until death, grant through her intercession that the whole human race may acknowledge Christ as his Savior and through him come to behold you for eternity who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses in the desert of Paran, Send men to reconnoiter the land of Canaan, which I am giving the children of Israel. You shall send one man from each ancestral tribe, all of them princes. After reconnoitering the land for 40 days, they returned, met Moses and Aaron and the whole congregation of the children of Israel 
in the desert of Paran at Kadesh, made a report to them all, and showed the fruit of the country to the whole congregation. They told Moses, we went into the land to which you sent us. It does indeed flow with milk and honey, and here is its fruit. However, the people who are living in the land are fierce, and the towns are fortified and very strong. Besides, we saw descendants of the Anakim there. Amalekites live in the red region of the Negev. Hittites, Jebusites, and Amorites dwell in the highlands, and Canaanites along the sea coast and the banks of the Jordan. Caleb, however, to quiet the people toward Moses, said, We ought to go up and seize the land, for we can certainly do so. But the man who had gone up with him said, We cannot attack these people. They are too strong for us. So they spread discouraging reports among the children of Israel about the land they had scouted, saying, The land that we ex explored is a country that consumes its inhabitants, and all the people we saw there are huge, veritable giants. The Anakim were a race of giants. We felt like mere grasshoppers, and so we must have seen to them. At this, the whole community broke out with loud cries, and even in the night, the people wailed. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, how long will this wicked assembly grumble against me? I have heard the grumblings of the children of Israel against me. Tell them, by my life, says the Lord, I will do to you just what I have heard you say. Here in the desert shall your dead bodies fall. Forty days you spent in scouting the land. Forty years shall you suffer for your crimes. One year for each day. Thus you will realize what it means to oppose me. I, the Lord, have sworn to this, to all this wicked assembly that conspired against me. Here in the desert, they shall die to the last man. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. We have sinned, we and our fathers. We have committed crimes. We have done wrong. Our fathers in Egypt considered not your wonders. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. But soon they forgot his words. They waited not for his counsel. They gave way to craving in the desert and tempted God in the wilderness. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They forgot the God who had saved them, who had done great deeds in Egypt wondrous deeds in the land of Ham, terrible things 
at the Red Sea. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Then he spoke of exterminating them. But Moses, his chosen one, withstood him in the breach to turn back his destructive wrath. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But he did not say a word in answer to her. His disciples came and asked him, Send her away, for she keeps calling out after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did him homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O oh, woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. A Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me. But he did not say a word in answer to her. He did not say a word. He was silent. God is silent. Many times we experience that in our lives. We pray for something. We pray for healing. We pray for better job. We pray for harmony in the family. We pray for so many things. And sometimes our experience is God is silent. God does not say a word. And we wonder why. Bakit hindi sinasagot ng Diyos ang dasal ko? Bakit hindi ibinibigay ng Diyos ang aking hinihiling? And you know for that, some people stop praying. They no longer pray. They no longer go to mass. They no longer go to church. Why? Because they say, the Lord is not listening. The Lord is quiet. Tahimik ang Diyos. Pero bakit nga po ba tahimik ang Diyos? Bakit hindi niya 
hindi siya kumikibo at hindi ibinibigay ang ating hinihiling. Hindi ba niya tayo mahal? My dear brothers and sisters, the silence of God can be explained in so many ways. But one explanation is this. God is quiet because He wants us to grow in faith. God is quiet because He wants us to grow in faith. Hindi siya kumikibo at hindi agad-agad ang binibigay ang ating mga hinihiling hindi dahil sa hindi niya tayo mahal, kundi dahil sa gusto niya tayong lumago sa pananampalataya. At yan, mga kapatid, ang ipinakita ng babae sa Ebanghelyo, pananampalatayang hindi sumusuko, hindi humihinto, pananampalatayang nagtitiwala, Tinanggihan siya sa simula, pero hindi siya sumuko. Nagpumilit siya at nagpakababa kahit natawagin siyang aso o tuta. Ihambing siya sa tuta. Ginamit pa nga niya yung paghambing na yon at ang sabi niya, Please Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Okay na sa akin yung nahuhulog. Okay na sa akin yung mumo. Kaya humanga ang Panginoon sa kanyang pananampalataya. Maybe, maybe God just wants us to grow in faith so that we will continue to trust in Him. Kaya mga ginigili kong kapatid, kapag hindi agad-agad din sinasagot ang dasal natin, tularan natin yung babae sa Ebanghelyo. Huwag tayong hihinto. Huwag tayong susuko. Pero ito ay dadagdag ko ha. Merong mga dasal na talagang hindi ibibigay. May mga karamdaman na talagang hindi gagaling. Ngayon, ang pananampalataya natin ay dapat ding tanggapin yung ganong katotohanan. That not all our prayers will be answered according to our desire. But definitely, God will always give us something better. Amen. Please stand. Jesus Christ tore down the barrier separating Jews from Gentiles. As one people of one new and eternal covenant, let us pray to the God who unites us as we say, Almighty God, have pity on us. Almighty God, have pity on us. That the church throughout the world may become a channel of God's mercy, peace, and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty God, have pity on us. That as a community of believers, we, we may not be divided by petty barriers of hatred and prejudice. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty God, have pity on us. That mothers who are anxious and deeply worried about their children's health may never fail to turn to Jesus for support and comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty God, 
have pity on us. That we may show care and concern for suffering people, regardless of their status, race, or religion. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty God, have pity on us. That those who have departed from this life may rejoice forever in God's heavenly home. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty God, have pity on us. In silence, let us pray for our own particular intentions as well as the intentions being offered in this Mass. Almighty God, our refuge and our strength, you wish us to unite all people. May we always be sensitive to the needs of others and never exclude anyone from our company. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the offerings we bring in celebration of Blessed Teresa Benedicta win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray. Just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, Teresa Benedicta, poured out like crisis to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us 
the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, like Teresa Benedicta, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As one family, we pray to our common Father in heaven. Our Father, who, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on Blessed Teresa Benedicta of the Cross a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of this sacrament, that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen.
My dear brothers and sisters, tonight we will have our weekly healing rosary for the world. And uh, this time at 9 p.m., we will be led by the community of the Minor Basilica of St. Dominic in San Carlos City, Pangasinan. So sila po ang mangunguna ng ating lingguhang pananalangin ng Banal na Rosario para sa kagalingan ng mundo. So please join us at 9 p.m. through uh, uh, the Manila Cathedral Facebook page. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Eucharist has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Amen.